Puff of Goats. I think it's called Epiphany. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, Epiphany. Yeah, but it's better if it's Puff of Goats. Come to the goats. Come to the goats. Sean's even got me singing that now. Like, Son of a bitch! <laughs> totally. I can see the opening day right now. I've been like, hey everybody, welcome to Goats. Er, welcome yeah, to some the asshole that's here right now actually shows up and is like, fuck Oaks! I'm like, I'm a bitch. <laughs> um, by the way, asshole update. For those of you that have been here all night, you know what I'm talking about. We have an asshole game, which meant if there was an asshole in the room, if you saw me roll my eyes, you would know that there's an asshole in the room. And the game was, you were trying, you should have to try to find where the asshole was. And if you guessed right, I would buy you a drink. But there really hasn't been any assholes tonight. There was a touch and go situation back in the back um, for about 20 minutes. This group of kids came in and I was like, oh, fuck. Um, but then they were fine. They were fine. They were fine. They were in my hotel room. Don't make me roll my eyes, sir. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna do just two songs. I've chosen my last two songs in Piano Bar ever, working, after 12 years. It's good though, it's good. One's my new famous song to sing, after 12 years. Um, one is, I think, my new, probably my new favorite song to sing. It's written by the, the writing team that has written Ragtime, uh, Once on this Island, um, Susical the Musical, and this song is not from any of those shows. It's from one of their other shows called, it's called um, The Glorious Ones that was up at Lincoln Center. The character is a straight actor. Stretch. Squint. Yeah, I'm acting alright. In more ways than one. Now, um, I'm too forgot. But I just also think it's appropriate for one of the last songs to do here. And then, yeah. All right, here we go. Hit it. I hope I remember the words. And. Why does a boy carve his name on a tree? Will the firstborn inherit the... What is a sculptor aspiring to be when he spends half his life carving stone? Kings build their tombs for the ages. Poets and fools fill up their pages. Why you need a new pen? Hmm? <laughs> I just have to tell you, I, the whole first portion I was a little distracted because I'm like, is my zipper down? Is it here? It's not, okay. <laughs> Seriously, I'm just sitting there. I just want to see. What are we looking for? What are we for? I say we yearn to leave something that lasts. To be known for what little we've done. Men tell their children the tales of their each man gives his name to his son. Something in song or in story. Something in blood. Something in glory. Something that won't fade away in a year. I can claim. 
and no patience for carving in stone. All that I have are my skill and my name and this chance to make both of them known. And this is my key to the portal. Sang this song about ten years ago. It's a really good friend of mine wrote this song, and I thought this was just perfect. Oh, Don't you know? okay. <laughs> no, Jonathan, it's not that one. No. <laughs> Actually, oh. <laughs> great, Jonathan. Oh shit! He thought it was this one. Oh <laughs> But this is perfect for this. This is for even more perfect. Yeah, this is perfect for uh, the, the situation. So hopefully I'll get through it. Hopefully I get through it lyrically and vocally. Man, are we going to get shit faces tonight? Yeah, we are going to get shit bombed. Yeah. Guess I picked the wrong route to stop. So again, I'm going to be cheating a little bit because even though I think I memorized it, I've never been so good at letting go, at knowing that goodbye is not forever. I always stand there trying to rack my brain to come up with something clever, some good reason to choose instead to come along with you. I've never been a fan of long goodbye. Unexpected plans or inclement weather, which is just to say my favorite times occurs when we're together. But since it's time now to go, I just thought you should know. This is my very longest long goodbye. I guess they're really always long goodbye. There's something to be said for a long goodbye. Goodbye.
Uh, please sit late, sit us, keep drinking, but somewhere else. Um, there are CDs up here. That song was written by the one and only Miss Karen Mack, for those of you who are wondering. Um, oh, so uh, thank you very much, guys. Everyone, the wonderful Eric Pickering, lavish him with chips and hugs and kisses. Oh, my God.